Union Square is the vibrant heart of San Francisco with exceptional retail experiences, luxury hotels, and great public spaces found only in the city by the bay. Now joining us with what they're offering is the executive director of the Union Square Alliance, Marissa Rodriguez. Marissa, thank you for joining us here on Live in the Bay. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Of course, we first and foremost have to talk about this music series that is coming to Union Square. What is it and what can people expect? Yeah, thank you. Actually, our music series started in June. Um, so it's a summer series. We do it every year. Uh, you can expect tango, salsa, swing, rock, really all genres and an opportunity to learn how to dance so we have instructors we fill up the square live music and occasionally you'll see a neighborhood activation where a bar like Hawthorne bar and lounge or a wine bar Eno will come and set up shop right there to enjoy as well and how long has Union Square been putting up some of these music series in the summer? Yeah, well, it really started to kick off during the pandemic because people wanted to be in outdoor spaces. So um, we took advantage of that opportunity. We're continuing again this year. Lots of success. People coming out for that to really enjoy, to dance, um, to be outdoors and enjoy a lot of what Union Square has to offer. And speaking of the pandemic, things have changed so much yeah. within the last two years. But like you said, one positive thing, you brought people together in an outdoor space. Now, you mentioned some dancing lessons as well, which is part <laughs> yeah. of this music series. Can you elaborate That's right. on that a little bit? Yeah, you know, a lot of people um, actually enjoy the, you know, tango or, or swing or salsa. They kind of have a following of their own. And people are interested in sort of learning. But sometimes you get a little nervous. You know, I don't want to go out because maybe I don't know how to dance salsa, um, tango or swing but we offer uh, lessons as well so you can come out beginners are welcome everyone is welcome come enjoy bring a partner come alone um, it's fun for all and that's so cool too downtown San Francisco I'm sure a lot of people don't even realize that you could be taking dance lessons right there <laughs> in Union Square that's right very exciting now music the music series that is going on this summer is actually expected to expand this yeah. coming year yeah, yeah thank you for asking about that um, we are recent recipients of a new grant that's going to allow us to really blow up our offering we're really excited it's going to kick off um, formally next year after the holiday season so when we shut down the ice rink and we shut down the Christmas tree and the menorah and all the fun <laughs> activities of the holidays, we're going to roll right into an even larger music celebration and series. Um, this is going to really let us produce some really big acts that are going to take us through the rest of the year. So now we're, we're doing um, activations on the weekends. Now with this new grant, we'll be able to do them during the week and um, on Saturdays and Sundays. So what's going to be the biggest difference in this small music series that you see here in the summer compared to this expansion that's coming in 2023? Yeah, so now we're really focused on local um, groups, local bands, um, really that it were impacted mostly during the pandemic, really trying to give people an opportunity to showcase their art. Um, we'll do the same thing next year, but on a much larger scale. So you're going to see bigger, bigger acts. Um, we're supporting venues that had to sh shut down during the pandemic. So it's a nice way to get people outdoors again, to really enjoy the center, the heartbeat of San Francisco. Union Square is synonymous with that heartbeat. We want to keep the music live. And San Francisco has such a rich history with music. And we're wanting to be the epicenter of that and kind of bring it back to San Francisco. Go. And something that you mentioned earlier, Marissa, you just mentioned how people are coming back together in Union Square, but that also means tourism. The tourism yeah. is rebooting after the pandemic. Is, is there some other things to do over there in that area? Yeah, no, actually what we're seeing are long, long lines for the cable cars again <laughs> and that ding, 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 which is really nice. It means, you know, we're coming back. It was a really tough time, yeah. uh, the pandemic, for so many. And to see our visitors returning, really San Franciscans too. Union Square is their downtown, their, their place to go shopping, to enjoy theater, to enjoy good food, to enjoy shopping. Um, we're seeing our San Franciscans come back, our Bay Area residents coming back, and tourists from all over the world. Well, speaking of tourists, we know that San Francisco is a huge spot for tourism all around the world. Now, tourism specifically, um, how big is that in Union Square and how does it maybe affect some of the surrounding businesses? Oh, it's huge. Um, you know, San, Union Square in particular is how, houses 12,000 hotel rooms. Um, wow. And yeah, so we are really a, a destination place, like I said, for San Franciscans, for Bay Area residents, but for tourists, right? And when they're gone, you know, when we had to shut down, we really shut 
shut down hard because yeah. um, you know we don't have residents like other neighborhoods in in the rest of the city and in the rest of the Bay Area. So uh, communities kind of you know went away, and so did the businesses. Unfortunately, they can't sustain without the people. But now you're starting to see pop-ups here and there, and businesses coming back. Um, we had some closures, but for example, the Australian brand Coco Republic is coming to Union Square to open a large furniture gallery. We've had an expansion with a lot of our luxury market. Um, Chanel's opening a three-story building in, over the next couple of years. They just purchased property, so we're really excited about that. YSL is expanding, Bottega Veneta is expanding. <laughs> um, I can go on and on. I think Van Cleef and Arpel just took a outside market uh, yeah. location. So we're excited. We're seeing a lot of movement, a lot of change, and it's really um, responding to what people want these days, which is experiential um, offerings. And so Union Square has that. Now with music um, and, and, the, and the tourists and everyone there, it's really, really bustling. Well, I'm excited to go try it out. So thank you, Marissa, for coming thank on you. the show and telling us a little bit, bit more about Union Square and what it has to offer. Yeah, thank you. For more information or to check out the summer series, we'll have a link on our website at liveinthebay.tv.